Great to have you along this afternoon. I'm Scott Sands, News Radio 1370 and 929 FM. It's Friday afternoon. Trying to do as much politics free Friday as we can, getting ready for the Super Bowl, our tailgate party underway. Emily from Fox 36 joining us here. Uh, we're about to do our, our weekend picks, her weekend picks. And off air, she reminded me that it's our anniversary. And and like any guy, I forgot to get you an anniversary gift. Ah, <laughs> next time. I, I would love, um, I've been craving a lot of cookies. I actually, this weather, this snowy weather, um, had my neighbor bake gym, she it, it inspired her to b- bake gingerbread cookies. Um, so I've been eating those this afternoon, and they're quite delicious. I'll get you a garbage so, cookie from uh, Grumpy's. Oh my gosh, aren't those great? They're the best. They're they're absolutely great. So you can um, for our anniversary makeup gift, you can you can get one of those for me, and I'll come by the station and. <laughs> I'll enjoy it with you potentially. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, a year ago, you were telling me off air was the first time that that you were on my show. We were talking about the Super Bowl then. Right. Yeah. Because Fox 36 was uh, was the network that was hosting it. So, yeah, I came on and it was my very first uh, radio interview. And yeah, it's crazy. A lot has happened, you know, since that day. Um, Positive. And (laughs) yeah. yeah, no, it's just uh, we were talking. Who who was playing last year? Uh huh. Kansas City and somebody else. That's right. And Kansas City. No, who who one? won? Kansas, <laughs> Kansas City, City won. won. That's yeah. right. I don't so know why I can't right remember this. Me? There's been a lot happening this year. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No doubt about it. Um, I don't know. What do you think? You think history is going to repeat itself in that sense? You think Kansas, I, I, Kansas is going to win? I, I everybody I talk to thinks Kansas City can win, but and and I throw up in my mouth just a little bit every time I say this. But I think Tom Brady is going to pull this out, and the Bucks are going to win. And and uh, I, a little piece of me dies when I say that. <laughs> I know, but he is the goat. Like. For him to turn this team around within a year the way he has, just, I mean, yeah, I, I want to see him do it. I really do. I'm, I'm going for them. And, you know, I've been watching the Today Show, and they're doing all these Super Bowl, you know, goodies you can do for each team. And I'm on this Cuban food kick, and they're just highlighting Cuban food for Tampa Bay. Um, there's a lot of like Cuban restaurants over there. And so these nice recipes you can do for it for your tailgate party. And um, yeah, so <laughs> the food and Brady is what is enticing me uh, to go or, for the Buccaneers this year. I may have to get something from uh, Poco Piatti then for, for Sunday night, uh, some Ropa Vieja or something like that. Some, yeah, Vieja. Uh, I had that last plantains. Friday. Oh, so it's good. so good. Have you Have you had their Cuban sandwich there? I haven't tried it yet. I haven't had the Cuban sandwich from there, but... Uh, Maureen at the original sub shop does a great Cuban sandwich. Oh, okay. That's good to know. Yeah. I okay. know. Uh, I've welcome. been, I've been looking for them. Welcome to food talk here on the, the Scott Sand show <laughs> with them. I, I can talk about as a fat, as a short fat white guy, I can talk about food all day. Um, what are you, are you making anything for the game? What are your plans for Sunday night? So I'm likely going to stay in. I, yeah, I, I don't have any firmed up plans yet. I might go out maybe to the attic or something. I don't want to go to two of a crowded bar. But, um, you know, if we do end up staying in and just doing having a little tailgate party here, um, there's this jalapeno copper dip that my uh, relatives make in Houston. And I'm going to make an attempt Ha, uh, do an attempt to make that. So we'll see how it comes out. It's a lot of jalapenos, chilies, lots of freaking Parmesan cheese. Ooh, nice. So, yeah. Uh, I'm not a big dip. I mean, I've never made a dip before. I'm not the biggest cook. I'm trying to get a little bit more into it. I, you know, I, I took out the crock pot. But, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll see how that goes. What about you? What are you planning on doing? Uh, I'll probably be out, out, out at Third Street Cigar, having a cigar and a beer, watching the game, and and maybe I don't know. I might try to cook some chili or something. I have. Uh, yeah. I'm not overly paranoid uh, about the about COVID nineteen, but I I don't know that I trust dips right now. I don't know that I I want strange people dipping food and something else that I'm going to dip into. So, 
that's kind of that's kind of where I draw the line, I think, in being around crowds. You know what? You made a really good point. And so if I do get together with some folks with this dip, yeah, it's going to have to be a minimal amount of people. Exactly. Yeah, yeah. That's a really good point. Or take the dip and put it in like individual bowls. That's true. That's a good here's idea. Your, Thank you for brainstorming. Yeah, here's your bowl of dip. <laughs> <laughs> welcome, welcome to Emily's. Here's your bowl of dip. Here's your bowl of dip. Here's your bag of crackers. Enjoy. All right, so before we're out of time, and by the way, we're talking to Emily from Fox 36, fox36.com. You can go there now, register to win a great prize for Valentine's Day for Fox 36's 36th anniversary on, on the air as well. Uh, we'll tell you about That's that right. at the end. Uh, every week uh, on Friday at fox36.com, you post your weekend picks. Anything cool other than the Super Bowl this weekend? Yeah, so Super Bowl, and I did give a recommendation on um, where to get some good wings. This uh, this time, I suggested Jed's. I was told from quite a few people that they they enjoy their wings the best um, out of the places here. I haven't personally tried them, but uh, they said to order them crispy. What do you think about that? Do you do you agree? Uh, uh, I don't know that I've had them ordered crispy. I've had, they have the fireballs. I've had their balls. Right. Their balls are really popular. I've had those before. I haven't had the chicken wings though. So I was, you know, trusting their judgment. And I put that down as a suggestion um, Here, for takeout. Here's my tip. More food tips. If you're going to go, like if you have to pick up wings for a party, like at noon, you got to get them early and you got people coming over six or seven hours later and air fryer. Yeah. An yep. air fryer will crisp up your wings. And actually, I like this the day-old wings after being in the air fryer to heat them up better than I do fresh. Oh, that's good to know. Okay, yeah, that's a great tip. Get them that's all crispy here and heated up again. Yeah. I'm here to help you. Uh, I'm here to help you fatten up. <laughs> I mean, tis the season. It's cold. I don't feel like doing anything this weekend. I just feel like staying in and, yeah, grubbing, yeah. essentially. Yeah, I've been unsuccessful with cuffing season the last few years. <laughs> it's fine. It is what it is. But um, but if you're you are looking to get out and maybe try something new and test a little bit of, of your physical abilities, um, I do have on their axe throwing. I went and visited Axe Four One Nine this past week, and you know, I I it was actually kind of easy. It was, I was really nervous that. You know, I was going to injure myself or, you know, something was going to go wrong. I was just not going to hit a target. But I had some pretty good swings and uh, it, you know, no one got hurt. And he said there hasn't been any injuries, you know, since they've opened. Yeah. So. And you are a lumberjack. I am a lumberjack. Yeah, because I graduated from Stephen F. Austin State University in Nacogdoches, Texas. And we are the lumberjacks. So actually. So I, I, I saw your uh, I saw your report on Facebook from Axe Four One Nine, and I mean you, it looked like you hit uh, fairly close to the target once, but I couldn't help but notice there was a nice edit when you hit the bullseye. So that had to come from Nate, right? You you did a little edit there. You threw the axe, and then you cut away and let Nate throw it. Yeah, you caught me. You caught me. I I I was like Nate, I'm gonna do this long shot. Because I film my own stories, you know, so I can't film myself throwing it, you know, this big wide shot and then zoom in on a close up shot. But the, the truth of the matter is I wouldn't have made it on target the way Nate did. So, yes, Nate made that shot for me and I edited it together to make it look like I did. Yeah, that's, <laughs> it, it's fine. It happens. It's the magic of television. I'm sure you, I'm sure if you had thrown enough axes, you two could have hit a bullseye. Yeah, yeah, enough times, but no, it's a great space. It, it's big indoor. It's cozy. You feel like you're kind of like in the in a woods, um, you know, like a woods setting, outdoor setting. And uh, they've got this great VIP room now. You can have a birthday party there, you know, bachelorette party, bachelor party, and uh, yeah, it was really cool. And they've got pizza and beer. And um, I'm definitely going to be taking some friends out to check it out here in the near future. I love Axe 419. We did our uh, holiday party, our la the last holiday party before the world shut down. Uh, we did it at Axe oh, 419. You told me about that. That's right. Yeah. yeah how, how's so your much fun. Uh, aim? I'm actually surprised. 
for uh, for the physical prowess that I have, I'm actually surprisingly good. I think I was That's the iHeartRadio champion. That's right. You told me that. Now, is it like beer pong where as you have a few more beers, you get better? Uh, no, I, I, I don't know that I advise that. Uh, it's not like golf. The more I drink, the, the looser my swing gets. So, so no, yeah. but... But I like where you're thinking. I like I like the direction you're going. All right, so we got we got great wings for for Super Bowl parties. We got Act Four One Nine to do something tonight, tomorrow, or one weekend. Uh, what would be uh, something else to do this weekend? Uh, so we're all we all have been staying in our PJs a lot. So I found this really cool event happening in Swanton. It's PJ shopping in Swanton, and they have all their shops open. Benefield Benfield Wines is going to be open at six a.m. this Saturday for mimosas. Um, and mm. then, like, um, C, uh, CK Suites is going to be handing out some goodies. But with all the shops you go to, and you can find the full list on fox36.com under my picks, um, you'll get a discount for wearing PJs. So, you know, throw on your Uggs, keep your PJs on, you know, put a beanie on, put a jacket on, and, yeah, just have some winter wonderland shopping and uh, get some discounts and some good goodies. Be responsible about the PJs you choose to wear in public, please. Yes. Yes. <laughs> and Uggs, is it okay if, as a guy, as a flaming heterosexual male like I am, is it okay if I get hugged, Uggs? Yeah, I think so. What? I mean, it, what, it's going to be a, a high of 10 on Saturday? Right. What's the high this week? Yeah, it's, uh, we're not getting out of, uh, it's not going to be above 20 for like a week and a half. You know what? It's all about comfort, and I and and I mean practicability. Practicability is that a word? Practicability. Practical. Sure. No. On this show, every, everything is a word on this show. <laughs> it's all about being practical, and right. these are. I mean, Uggs hands down are the warmest, comfiest shoes. Yeah. No, there there'd be no judgment. I wouldn't think so. Not for my I'm end, at to, least. I'm gonna get a pair. I got a pair of thirty dollars <laughs> slippers that I wore into work the other day. Uh, before we're out of time, uh, fox36.com. Next Friday, we'll, we'll talk about some Valentine's Day stuff that you can do uh, on Valentine's weekend. But in the meantime, between now and then, go to fox36.com. You've got a giveaway for Valentine's Day and the 36th anniversary of Fox 36. That's right. You have until February 8th. Uh, you can enter once per day. Uh, the more times you enter, obviously, the better chances you get to win a 14-karat rose gold Three quarters of a cut diamond necklace from Jay Foster Jewelers, 36 roses from Shram's Flowers, and um, a dinner for two at Benchmark Restaurant. So your Valentine's Day is pretty much covered. And that's just grand prize one. Second prize is the $100 gift heart card to Benchmark and a dozen roses. Third place is a dozen roses from uh, Shram's Flowers. So, yeah. It's a. It's going to be on a on a Sunday. I heard the high is going to be six degrees. That geez, this is this is a colder winter than last year, right? Like it I is. feel like I'm. Yeah. Well, less you know, snow, but just as cold. Yeah. No. Exactly. So um. Yeah. Enter once per day. Fox36.com. Click under contests. Um. Have a nice indoor <laughs> Valentine's yeah. Day. <laughs> if, I, if I win, I'm going to give it to you and have you be my Valentine. Oh, I'd love that. Yay. <laughs> <laughs> I have no nice jewelry. I'm very plain. Um, so that would be appreciated. Very much so. And the grumpy, the garbage cookie for Deal. our anniversary. <laughs> Deal. Fox36.com. Emily's weekend picks are there. Uh, have a great weekend. Enjoy the Super Bowl. We'll talk next Friday. You too. Sounds good, Scott. See ya. Bye.